with y'all. Coach Davis back with another video. In this video, I'm here to talk about the dangers of relapsing and why you should never relapse. It is not an option if you're on my channel. You heard? Because I want to see all y'all win and be your best version. You know what I'm saying? I'm rooting for everybody, not just myself. Y'all rooting for me, and I'm rooting for y'all. We on the same team. Y'all enjoy the content. Don't dislike or comment until you watch the full length of the video. Salute. I'm going to tell y'all a story about me when I relapsed. See, the universe sent me a blessing when I was on my longest streak in 2019. I ejaculated when I, after a little bit after I was received my blessing. Me and my baby moms was finally on good terms. I knew it was because of my journey and my discipline. I was allowed to see my son while I was in a homeless shelter. But guess what? I relapsed a couple days before that. And I knew that everything was about to go to hell from that point forward. I just knew. Because I thought I could edge and still watch porn while I was on a journey. And I slipped up. So I went to go see my son. I'm there at her sister's crib, at my baby mom's sister's crib. And I was just in my head a lot. I was feeling extremely guilty. And I flipped out. You know, my son was there. Just that, you know, the energy, I couldn't handle the energy. I was in my head about when am I gonna see my son again? I was, I wasn't in the moment. The moment was gone for me. I was back to being back in my head. And I decided to be emotional and act like a bitch. And I started flipping chairs and wilding out. Because I just, you know, everything just started crashing down on me. Being homeless. You know, seeing my son once in a blue moon. Him not knowing who I am. I'm looking at my son and he doesn't rec He doesn't know that I'm his father. Because she's sleeping with another man and he's living and always around another man. So he gets around me. He's curious as to who I am. But yet, I can feel the connection. I can see he feels it too. But he's a baby. He's still, you know, looking at me curious and wondering. And it was breaking my heart. And I couldn't handle that. Because I relapsed. See, but if I, if I didn't relapse, I would have been able to handle that. And I would have did the right thing throughout that day. But because of that, I flipped out. Did a whole bunch of dumb shit, said a whole bunch of dumb shit. Almost got cops called on me. So I left before it got any worse. So, but I'm here to tell y'all, man, relapsing is dangerous. The amount of guilt you'll feel, you'll feel for relapsing is detrimental and it's gonna change you. Those other days, the days of your streak is not gonna exist no more after you relapse. I promise you that. One of the worst pains I ever felt was relapsing. I had social anxiety again. I was extremely angry and on edge again. Extremely militant. I almost got into a couple fights while I was in a homeless shelter. Just quick to explode again. I ain't have no self-control. You know, relapsing is a terrible experience. You know? For example, it's a guy, it's a troll on here, on this YouTube shit, named DJ100. And he has this analogy that made me lose respect for him. And if you wanna go see for yourself, go to see my video, see my retention in the gym, and you'll see DJ100 name, you'll see it's a bunch of comments, like 85 comments on a, you know, us going back and forth, and then you can read it for yourself. Shout out to Kimbo Slice. Um, he has this analogy about, he says he got his wife pregnant. Congratulations to you, DJ 100. You didn't relapse since you got her pregnant for that one time that you ejaculated in the, that's not a relapse in my book. I mean, technically, even though you still ejaculated, but I mean, everybody's different. Everybody could count it how they want to count it. I'm in my opinion, I might still maybe count it a relapse just because I did ejaculate, so whenever I guess I do decide to have a baby, I may just start my streak over after I have my baby. But that's a whole nother topic, a whole nother video. Um, but then I told him, 
Then he goes on to explain that he continued to relapse in her while she is pregnant currently. But he says he doesn't count that as a relapse. But yet on all his videos recently, if y'all watch his videos, if you don't, you can go watch them. He says that he relapsed. So he's being a hypocrite. But what do you think about this analogy for everybody that's watching this video? Do you believe that it is a relapse if your wife is pregnant and you're ejaculating in her? First of all, I already know what y'all gonna say. This is stupid. This is what relapsing makes you do. It makes you say and do dumb shit. Because I went through the same thing myself. You know? I sabotaged everything. I started getting into arguments with my mom. You know? Arguments with my dad. Arguments with my roommate in the shelter. Everything around me was fucking up, man. Everything around me was collapsing. But that's just my experience with relapse, and that's why I take this journey so serious. I recommend nobody relapse, man. If you on my channel, don't relapse. Because I'm going to be extremely disappointed in you. But it's not going to amount to how disappointed you're going to be in yourself. And it will show. I love all you guys, and I want all you guys to be your best version. That's why I made this channel, and that's why I do what I do. I love. I'm not self-centered. I want you to glow too. I want you to be happy too. I want you to be your best version too. And not be a beta and value somebody else's needs over yours. If she's pretty and you're single and you want to fornicate, if that's what you do, I'm not going to tell you what to do because you're a grown man. But I highly advise that you don't sacrifice this life for us at least. At least protect your energy. And still enjoy sex. Because if you can't enjoy sex without busting, then that just means your end goal is to bust. That's all you're doing it for. For those last five to ten seconds. And to me, that's not worth it. But you do what you want to do. I'm going to do what I do. Because I know there's people out there that I inspire that are going to actually, you know, follow my lead. Because I'm a leader. But my goal is to drive you to become your own leader as well and lead with me. You don't have to make a YouTube channel, but you're the one percent. You could be a leader in your community. You could be a leader within your family. Right? The dangers of relapsing up. I'll never relapse again. Never. Never. And I advise you don't either, and I'm gonna leave it at that. Salute.